victory in the Shield and a good performance. I'm sure you're absolutely delighted being the next round. Yeah, I thought the performance was outstanding. I thought, apart from the first maybe 15, 20 minutes, where they, they started really well, lively, moving the ball quick. Their their movement was, was that didn't worry us, but we knew what to expect from them. So they started really well, but I thought we took control of the game. Second half, I thought we, we took real control of the game. And we put pressure on them and they weren't comfortable with the pressure and eventually we had control of the game disappointed the way we conceded a couple of goals but they're a talented team they created a few chances in the first half we created the three better chances um, but we didn't typical of the last few weeks we didn't put them away but it was nice to get the uh, get the winner Darren Murray thought was outstanding Considering he hasn't played a lot lately, I thought he was absolutely outstanding. Ran his heart out for the team, and that's, that's, that's the darn Murray you want to see. And I guess it says a lot about our squad when you can bring the likes of Elvio off the bench and even Cameron Stewart near the end. It, yeah. It's a real victory for the squad as well, and the depth there is at Glen yeah, at the moment. Absolutely. I mean, the fans that travelled to Coleraine a couple of weeks ago, we made eight changes, and with ten men, we played and played and played, and we, we could have got a result there. So we made six changes, I think it was tonight brought in some pace there with Elvio big Cameron come on and that led the line there for the last bit so yeah it's nice to have fresh legs coming in because three games in seven days Saturday, Tuesday tonight and then we have to play again on Friday um, is a big ask so we knew that at the start of the season probably people were asking probably the fans were asking why are we signing this player and that player so it was nice to, for people to see that this is why that we need a big squad because we have games yeah. coming into the winter period where pitches are getting heavy and games come thick and fast especially getting into November and December so squad is big squad is talented but we need it and Navid Nasiri tonight impressive performance Navid's a, a really talented player I, I said before in an interview I'd known him from my time with the Iran national team he was on our radar scouting network so I knew about him and I was delighted when he was available so He's a he's he's a talent, you know. He hasn't played in a long time, so we put him in gradually into the last couple of games, and that was his first real, you know, ninety minutes plus. Um, he'll get better and better and better. Can play through the middle, can play central, can play wide left, wide right. So he'll he'll he's going to help us from now to the end of the season. And then next up, Lauren again, Friday night. Again. Yeah, I mean it's they're going to regroup. Um, they're going to be under pressure down there under the TV cameras they've had a bad run of, of results you know performances have been good you know they should have got a, same as ourselves they should have got a few results games have went against them you know Cliftonville beat them at the weekend and, um, I think they should have got a result against Crusaders but they're a talented team they're going to be hurting after this result and they're going to welcome us down there on Friday night I'm sure they're going to give it a go so look I look forward to playing them they're a good team they're an honest team they try to play football the staff's done a brilliant job down there yeah. and uh, uh, it's a credit to them so I'm looking forward to the game.